Thank you, Leah. It is 632 here. We're lucky to be joined again by the director of the National Hurricane Center uh, live out of Miami there, Michael Brennan. And um, good to see you again. We talked yesterday morning about Francine, now a hurricane. And I want to start off with first what you are seeing with the storm this morning. Obviously, it is stronger as many people are waking up. Yeah, you know, as anticipated, we did see Francine strengthen starting uh, late yesterday afternoon into the overnight hours. Maximum winds are about 90 miles per hour, but we are starting to see that those strong upper level winds we talked about starting to, you know, affect Francine. You can see that in the cloud pattern being pushed off to the north and east of the center. Uh, have, the, have both the NOAA and Air Force hurricane hunters in the storm this morning, uh, seeing the pressure start to level off. The, we haven't seen anything that supports winds higher than 90 miles per hour at, the, at this point, but the main message for everybody in southeast Louisiana as the impacts are coming, regardless of whether this gets a little stronger, whether it weakens a little bit before landfall, still expecting that five to 10 feet of storm surge inundation, hurricane force winds well inland into portions of southern Louisiana, going to have strong winds in the New Orleans metro area. So it's going to be a really dangerous day, and those conditions are already starting to deteriorate along the coastline are only going to get worse through the next few hours. Yeah, and I want to talk about the timing because the storm has finally started to speed up with those upper level winds. What yeah. is it? Northeast at 10 right now. So what is our timeline? Let's start with the coast. Yep. Here. When will we really start to see those conditions go down here, go downhill on the coast? We can see in these brighter yellows here, some of those really heavier outer rain bands are starting to now move on shore into the Vermilion Bay area. We're going to see those tropical storm force winds reach the coastline later this morning. We're going to see the hurricane force winds this afternoon. You know, if we look at the track forecast for Francine, we've got the center, you know, making landfall sometime late this afternoon or this evening along the uh, the southern Louisiana coast and then pushing up into uh, to Mississippi as we go overnight into tonight and to Thursday. But those kind of, you know, strong winds are going to move inland see hurricane warnings all the way into Baton Rouge. We've got the tropical storm warning and hurricane watch for the New Orleans metro area. And that's really to message the potential for those higher end tropical storm force winds, especially in gusts. You could have gusts 60, 70, you know, gusts even into hurricane force. Uh, you remember the warnings are for sustained winds, not the gusts, but we try to message the higher end impacts of those high end tropical storm conditions with that hurricane watch for the New Orleans metro area uh, later today and tonight. Right. And talking about power outages here, let's talk about surge. We just interviewed um, the pair president of Terrebonne Parish and I think that's probably where we're going to see our highest surge with this event. I mean, we're talking five to 10 feet. What y'all's thinking on that surge right now as this storm comes in? Yeah, that's still the that's still the anticipation is that, you know, near and just to the right of where the center crosses the coast here is where we're going to see, you know, potentially up to 10 feet of storm surge inundation. Uh, and you're right, it could be you know, Terrebonne, St. Mary's, uh, those parishes right here just to the west of Port Fourchon. Um, and that you go, as you know, in in, in uh, Louisiana, the tr the uh, Storm surge threat is not just right at the immediate coastline. It can extend many miles inland. And so hopefully people in those evacuation zones have heeded that advice. You still have some time to get out now. Heard you just talking to some, uh, a reporter that was, you know, at a shelter. You can get still get to a safe place. You don't have to drive hundreds of miles to get out of those storm surge zones, just tens of miles. So please heed those uh, evacuation orders if you haven't yet. And one more thing before we let you go. I do want to talk about the rain really quickly because looking at some of this yeah. data, there could be this narrow corridor of some very, very high rain totals. And looking at the timing, it looks like this could be into tonight. And we know the dangers of flooding, but also the dangers of flooding at night. Yeah, that's particularly true, and especially the highest rains are going to occur. You know, we're getting the rains now, but the rains with the core of Francine as it moves inland are going to create some of those high rainfall totals, including in the perhaps the New Orleans metro area overnight. You want to make sure you have ways to get alerts that will wake you up, wireless emergency alerts on your smartphone and no weather radio, smartphone apps, so that if warnings are issued for you, you're aware of that uh, even if it occurs overnight. That is the director of the National Hurricane Center, Michael Brennan. Listen, we are so thankful for these live discussions um, here in New Orleans. You know, we've been through many hurricanes. We'll get through this one, but we thank you so much for coming on here and discussing it with us. Thanks.